hi welcome to another fragrance review video on the my fragrance journey channel um in this video um i'd like to do like a similar but different type of comparison um type of review and um the two fragrances are missoni Paom perfume and my recently acquired um antonio banderas the icon edp um so essentially okay what's similar about these well most uh, both of them are edp both of them one from um a a a a, 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 a what could i say um an entertainment icon antonio banderas many great movies and then the other one a uh, straight up designer fragrance um you know not very well known not very out there mainstream but um if you're into fragrances you'll know about this um so either you know it's a comparison between the two and the reason for this video is because the first time when i tested the uh antonio banderas the icon edp you know um it struck a note in terms of you know there's a similar fragrance in my collection um that smells like this you know but unfortunately or fortunately after a bit of tasting or after a bit of looking around my collection i realized yeah this is the fragrance it's similar but very different you know in a way so missoni parfum uh parfum um an edp released in 2017 this is a woody aromatic compared to very much uh what they class as an amber for year even though they are very similar so for example similarities here um in the top most of them have a prominent fresh grapefruit note which i think is what uh, you know really struck my accord in my mind the other day when i was tasting the Antonio Banderas, the icon. So top notes here on the side, grapefruit, lemon, lavender. On the other side, grapefruit, black pepper, juniper. So fresh, very fresh with a little bit of lavender. Fresh and spicy on the side. Middle notes, ginger, apple, jasmine on the side. On the other side, suede, lavender. The lavender comes in the mint rather than the top of the Masoni palm. So suede, lavender, cypress. And then uh, on the side, um, the Benz wine, Leptinum, Patchouli, and Vetiver, um, you know, round off the base of the fragrance. And then also this side, Birch, Oakwood, Sandalwood, uh, Musk, and Patchouli. So woods and a bit of Patchouli and Musk. So you, you can get the vibe, you know, they start off fresh, go very aromatic and woody at the end of the day. Very much blue fragrances, you know, I would say very much blue fragrances. Um, both EDP, like I said, um, this one though, even in the review, I think even since then I've tested it, um, it disappoints a bit from the performance standpoint in terms of projection, sillage. Um, it does last, you know, enough time on your skin, though most of the time it's on your skin. Very much a date night, evening, you know, cool weather type of scent. Compared to this one, this one is a versatile everyday type of scent you know it was a blind buy on my end you know at the beginning of this whole fragrance journey of mine and it was a blind buy i found it to be very versatile i can just it's a blind reach i can just go for it put it on and just be happy for the rest of the day it's got shades of blue de chanel in it shades of it you know um like i said that grapefruit note sort of takes it everywhere um so yeah there's comparisons of a blue additional clone to this but the more time i spent with this um i tend to disagree with that this one also i've heard comparisons of a cheap blue de chanel but i think the edt original edt is more in that vein of you know blue de chanel because it's very ambroxony very much blue scent and then from a flanker's perspective the latest one is the elixir i'm looking forward to getting that in and then the original icon edt very nice i think the edt is the best one of the range I would say, but I'll do some further testing later on. And then from the Masoni side, the only two fragrances that I've ever come across from for male, it's this one and uh, the Masoni um, uh, Wave, which is more a summery, fresh type of scent. It's compared to a cross between Versace, 
uh, Pao Man, Versace Man, or Fresh, or something like that. So, yeah, looking forward to that uh, in the warmer months. So, performance projection, like I said, um, this one projects and it's got decent CH. Um, you know, this is a six to eight hour type of fragrance, you know, then it settles down to your skin. This one, I um, must say, much lower. Um, you know, this is a four to five hour, five, six hour type of scent. Not much projection, but you know, it stays there on your skin, you know, um, for most of the day. And then, uh, price wise, very similar. Both of them 60 mils. Uh, no. Uh, 50 milliliters yeah both of them 1.7 ounce um both of them uh 50 mils more or less the same pricing around 30 35 uh, dollars um meaning seven eight hundred rands in south african rands so yeah the verdict this is the one um if you could choose between the two i'd choose between this but i'm a fragrance collector i choose everything so this one is the best this is much um you know um lower quality lower performance like all the things that i've said so between these two the masoni is a definite front runner and win a winner this one is a special occasion winter type of scent this one much much more versatile so yeah there there, there it is um my first video like of this type i think um with that said uh, please like and subscribe to the video leave a comment down below i enjoy your comments guys and i try to respond to everyone um so with that said peace